So hello guys, I am Pramod Bosle. Welcome to my channel. Today in this session, I am going to share my TCS digital interview experience which I gave back in 2022. I am going to explain you in detail about which are the most important subject you need to do, what are the questions that was asked in the interviews, what are the HR questions was asked and the most important thing is I am also going to tell you some of the tips to in order to clear your TCS digital interview. So just in case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos to get your placement journey better and better. Now, Without any further delay, let's proceed. So I gave my TCS Ninja exam back in 2021 and nearly after two weeks, I got a mail that you have been selected for TCS Digital Advanced Coding Round. So exactly on 10th of October, I gave my TCS Digital Advanced Coding Round. So in this coding round, there were two questions based on the mathematical one. And believe me that it was a bit harder as compared to those which are present in TCS Ninja coding. So I gave my TCS Digital Advanced Coding Round on 10th of October and I waited for two weeks. And nearly after two weeks, exactly on 23rd October, I got an interview call. So I gave my TCS digital interview exactly on 24th of October 2021. Now I'm going to tell you all those things what was asked. So when I sat for the interview, there were three panel present in front of me. There were two ladies and one male. So first of all, they asked me my introduction. So I gave my introduction and later they asked me which are the subject in which you're really good at. So I told them that few of the subjects are really strong for me. For example, C, C++, data structures, database, operating system. So I told that these are the subjects I'm really good at it. So interviewer started with the subject called database. Believe me that my interview went on for 57 minutes out of which 43 minutes were only for database section. So first he started with the questions based on the SQL queries. He asked me to write two or three SQL queries related to the joins and one is related to the using the aggregate functions. So make sure that you are thorough with this SQL queries as well. There might be some other companies that will ask you to write the SQL queries. Make sure that you are thoroughly with the especially with joins because there were lots of questions were asked me on the joins. Then later he shifted to the normalization and he asked me what is the difference between the 2NF and 3NF and BCNF as well. So after covering with this normalization, he shifted to the difference between the keys, candidate keys, when to use primary key and when to use candidate keys. And later we then shifted to the as property so in this way there it was nearly 43 minutes the database section was covered he was taking every single thing in depth since i was giving an interview for the higher package of 7 lakh somewhere down the line that i was trying to control my interview and i told them that okay this is the concept which is mainly related to the polymorphism because i know that it was really a long time i i was sticking to the database section only so that i need to shift my interview to the different section so i told them somewhat about the polymorphism he told me he asked me something from database and I tried to relate it to the polymorphism just because he should shift to the polymorphism or oops concept. So as soon as I told him about polymorphism, he immediately shifted to the oops concept and he gave me three examples that there are the three functions out of which I have written a function overloading and which will give me an error or which will execute correctly. So I guess those uh, answer rightly. There it was three functions and two parameters were passed to it called as int a, int b, float a, float b int a float b so these are the two three functions he gave me and asked which one will give me error and which will not give me an error so after performing all these things then he asked uh, three or four questions from operating systems like what is a process synchronization what is the difference between the process and the program and later he gave me one of the most trickiest questions that what are the different types of scheduling algorithm present in operating system and later he asked me which algorithm to use when right you just don't tell me which are the different algorithms we have also tell me which algorithm you is used at which time so he asked me about it and after doing this for nearly 40 to 43 minutes he asked me two hr questions only he told me only two hr questions the first question he gave me that suppose you are a leader of 100 people team and you are doing a one project and in order to complete that project it requires six months but the client is demanding to complete your projects in four months then what you will do so one of the biggest answer i gave for this even i was shocked during giving this example that how this answer came in my mind of course i have a habit of reading so far i have read nearly 118 books so because of it it might have triggered in my brain so i told them answer that uh, i will check before completing this project i will check is there any similar project tcs has done for it 
so if I have, I have the similar project then I will get its design analysis and the requirement so what will happen is instead of work telling my people to uh, over time do some extra time all the stuff we don't need to do it we will simply go some history and check some past of TCS whether it has completed some similar kind of project or not if yes we will simply take a few advantage of it so that we can collect information and we will complete our project within a three or less than a three months then he asked me question related to the relocation then I said yes since I was uh, uh, living in a hostel there is no any problem for me in order to relocate for me so I said yes to relocate so in this way the interview went on nearly for the 57 minutes so one thing I would like to recommend you is that whenever you are preparing especially for TCS digital interview make sure that there are certain points you need to take care of it number one your whole interview will be a technical interview since you are giving an interview to the 7.5 lakh of LPA then number second point is make sure that your projects are on hold that your project has to be strong I tell you one of the important thing about is that my project was done in Java and during that time I was not much good enough in Java so I was a bit tense about project so when he asked me about the project I gave the answer in one of the best way that I could give in possible way since I'm really good in C++ I wanted to learn some basics of Java so I decided to take a challenge and develop my project in Java after telling this answer interviewer haven't asked me any question related to the Java and the project so this is how you should manage your interview right it is not only the front person person who will control you your answers will tell you which will be the next question your last line of your answer will tell you the next question so make sure that whatever the answer you are telling your last point of your answer should be in such a way that you are good enough to answer the next question and the number three point is that you don't need to much focus on HR questions because since you are giving an interview to the higher package your most of the interview will be covered only for the technical subject 90% it will be a technical subject only once you are done with these three important thing is make sure that you have a strong hold on SQL queries as well because there might be some possibilities that they will ask you to write the query and even after you write the query they will ask you to optimize it because there are number of ways to write a query but which is the optimal way so this is how you should prepare for the TCS NQT exam most important thing I would like to tell you that don't forget to do the subjects like C, C++, data structures and algorithms, OOPS concept and database. So these are the must do per subjects, must do subjects. And apart from these subjects, you need to be a thorough with your projects. Don't tell everything about the project. Just give them overall idea about what problem you have solved. Why did you choose that project? which technology you use what was your role because the moment you tell you your role you will get the questions only related to the, your role if you tell everything about the project then you have to answer each and every single questions related to the project even if you have not done that particular part from your project you have to answer your question because the front person don't know what was your role in the project so don't forget to tell the role in your project so i guess this video has helped you a bit so that you can prepare a good enough for TCS digital interview if you need any different kind of video related to the placement or any of the preparations do let me know in the comment section so that i can make a better video for you to make your journey really really easy so before i leave you just do subscribe the channel so that it will give you motivation to create such more videos till then have a happy coding